Hey everybody, so last night I found myself once again glued to the news channels because politics has been a hot issue and also now gun control. Now last night, the House Democrats staged a sit-in that lasted more than 15 hours. I was literally watching MSNBC until like 3 in the morning. And of course, what got accomplished? Absolutely nothing. Once again, our Democrats, our Republicans, cannot come together to pass any laws or bills. It's become so frustrating that we, as an American society, can't have people to come together and to pass laws that will benefit everyone. Gun control, yes, is a hot issue. There's many arguments for it and against it. I myself am against guns, but I perfectly am fine with the Second Amendment and the right to bear arms. I'm all for that. If somebody wants to carry a handgun to protect the, themselves in their house, in their home, I'm for that. Hunters, they want to have their rifles and their little guns to hunt animals, I'm perfectly fine with that. What I'm not fine with is for some human being needing a military weapon, an AK-15, AK-17, a assault rifle, weapons that are for mass destruction, weapons that are supposed to be used out in the battlefield, not by a single person. That's what I'm against. And I think most people, most Americans in general, are against that. But why can our politicians come together and pass these laws to assault, assault, um, to basically pass laws banning assault rifles? I think our country, the United States of America, can learn from Australia. Back in 1996, they passed the strictest gun laws. They banned all assault weapons after they had a mass shooting. And what happened? It didn't take months, it didn't take years for them to assault, uh, to ban assault weapons. It took weeks, weeks for them to ban all assault weapons. And even certain guns, if people are caught with certain guns in Australia, they can go to jail for up to 14 years. And guess what? They haven't had a mass shooting since over 20 years since, since they had a mass shooting because of the strict gun laws they passed. Why can't the United States of America learn something from Australia? It just baffles me. It completely baffles me. After Sandy Hook, when innocent children were slaughtered by an assault weapon, that didn't even change the gun laws in this country. So if innocent little kids getting killed didn't change the gun laws in America, what will? What will? It's frustrating. It's beyond frustrating that we can't come as a society, come together and make changes. That's why it's important. The presidential race is extremely important, but also the race to put in senates, new senators and congressmen those races are extremely important because you want to put people that are going to pass laws that's going to make changes to America. What's been going on for the past who knows how long is the NRA has a vice grip on our society. The NRA pretty much bought and paid a lot of politicians to do their bidding, which is why the NRA is so strong and so powerful and more and more it tells me how powerful they are because gun laws aren't changing in this country because of the NRA. And I know there's NRA members, pro-NRA people, fine, you have a right to believe in that. But the, the fact is, do you seriously believe that people that are on a no-fly zone list have a right to buy guns? Shouldn't all those people be banned from buying guns? Shouldn't all those potential people that are on the FBI list, shouldn't they be banned from buying guns? They're not. It's legal in America to go into any gun store 
and buy an AK-47, an AR-15, any kind of assault rifle there is, you can easily purchase one in any gun store in America like nothing. And that's pathetic. And something needs to be done. The Democrats tried really hard last night. It fell on deaf ears. The Republicans are not going to budge. Something has to get done. And we as a society need to stand up and fight for our rights because nothing is getting done here. So I'm just curious about what you all think about the gun laws in America. And for those people who don't live in America, let me know your opinions on what the gun laws are in your country. Curious to know. Talk to you later.